The first North Korean military units that have undergone training at training grounds in eastern Russia have arrived in the war zone. They were spotted in Russia's Kursk Oblast, where Ukrainian forces are conducting an operation, on October 23. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported this. The first North Korean military units that have been trained at training grounds in eastern Russia have arrived in the war zone of the Russo-Ukrainian War. In particular, they were seen in Russia's Kursk Oblast on October 23, 2024. The North Korean troops who arrived in Russia are being trained at five military training grounds located in the east of the aggressor state, Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine noted that North Korean military personnel, whom Russia intends to use in the war against Ukraine, have several weeks to train. Ukrainian intelligence added that the number of North Korean troops deployed to Russia is currently around 12,000, including 500 officers, particularly three Pyongyang generals. The Kremlin has high hopes for the North Korean component in the war against Ukraine and the global confrontation with the West. Recently, South Korean intelligence reported that Pyongyang had sent 3,000 troops to Russia to support Russian forces in their war against Ukraine and is also trying to isolate the families of selected soldiers in a certain place to prevent information from spreading. Moscow and Pyongyang deny any arms transfers but have pledged to strengthen military ties by signing a mutual defense treaty at a summit in June. The Kremlin has dismissed as fake news South Korea's claim that Russia was sending North Korean troops to war. A South Korean intelligence report says that North Korea has shipped about 20,000 containers to Russia via the northeastern port city of Rajan. When fully loaded, they can hold about 9.4 million 152 mm shells. It is noted that while North Korea's shipment of 152 mm artillery shells and missiles to Russia has not had a significant impact on its stockpiles, the additional shipments could hamper military preparations due to a shortage of ammunition. North Korea's weapon stockpiles could last for three months of war. Pyongyang is also operating approximately 200 munitions factories at maximum capacity and has secured enough military supplies for a three-month war with South Korea despite the increased exports, Seoul's Defense Intelligence Agency said. We assess that North Korea has exported more than 20,000 containers to Russia through Rajan port, according to a document that the Seoul's Defense Intelligence Agency submitted to People Power Party Representative Kong Day 6 office and seen by NK News. The new figure marks an increase of some 7,000 containers from when DAA last estimated the extent of DPRK Russia arms trade in August, with the agency calculating that they could have carried approximately 9.4 million rounds of ammunition. Similar to August's assessment, the Seoul's Defense Intelligence Agency said North Korea may be providing 122mm multiple rocket launcher shells, T-series tank shells, portable anti-aircraft missiles and anti-tank missiles compatible with Russian systems, stating that the US and the ROK are jointly tracking North Korean weapons use on the battlefield. The updated estimate comes days after South Korea revealed evidence of North Korea deploying troops to assist Russia in the war in Ukraine. Shin Sung Ki, a senior analyst at the Korea Institute for Defense Analyses told NK News that the DIA assessment seems accurate given how North Korea has focused on building factories that produce shells and missiles that Moscow needs in recent months. South Korea's President Yoon suk yeol said Thursday that his government could review the possibility of sending lethal weapons to Ukraine depending on North Korean troops' activities, in Russia. The statement came during the joint press conference with Poland's President Andrzej Duda, who agreed to bolster their joint response to North Korea's troop dispatch to Russia during Thursday's summit. South Korea, as principal, has not supplied lethal weapons to Ukraine. The meeting between Yoon and Duda came a day after US and South Korean officials said they believe around 3,000 North Korean troops have been deployed to Russia and are training at several locations. 
South Korea's spy agency told lawmakers that North Korea likely aims to send a total of 10,000 troops to Russia by the end of the year. Both Moscow and Pyongyang have denied the presence of North Korean troops. Uh,我们的台湾政府是在上部分的直接攻击的安全的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问题的问